The greatest currency of 2024 is attention. Mark my words. You wanna sell a course? Attention. You wanna sell a t-shirt? Attention. You wanna be the mayor of this town? Attention. Attention will get you everything you want in 2024. Times are changing and gone are the days where we had to pay for ads to command attention. Truth is, social media marketing has transformed the business landscape by allowing us to build an audience and direct their attention towards taking action. And in 2024, building a personal brand is the absolute best thing you can do to do this. But how can you create a powerful personal brand that stands out against the millions of other personal brands online? Professional photography might just be the secret ingredient, even though it's often overlooked in the world of social media. Anyone can take a phone selfie and put it up on their Instagram page, but not everyone goes the extra mile and takes the time to create a custom image library to represent their brand. Professional branding photos will capture the essence of your personality, telling your story, all while making visually appealing photos that clearly differentiate from those taken with your phone. And that's not to say that phone photos are unusable, but more to say that there is a skill to visual storytelling that surpasses the camera itself. Hey, I'm Jasmina, and before I started my social media marketing agency, I worked as a commercial and portrait photographer in Toronto, Canada for the last 10 years. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can leverage branding photography to build a powerful personal brand on social media and how to plan your next branding photo shoot. So with that, let's get started. So some of the amazing benefits professional branding photos can have for you and your brand are building trust with your audience and your potential customers. They can also help you with social media marketing and having a bank of high quality professional photos can help you with your content creation and ensure that you have a consistent branding all across your socials. Just think about your favorite actors, musicians, and influencers. The reason why they're as influential as they are is, you guessed it, powerful personal brands they've created for themselves. So now that you know the benefits behind professional branding photos, let me actually give you some tips on how to go about planning your personal branding photo shoot. The first thing I wanna talk about is your branding. Before you even think about booking your branding photo shoot, you wanna make sure that you're crystal clear on your brand identity. In other words, your mission, your values, personality, and visual elements such as your colors, logos, fonts, etc. So ask yourself, what mood or energy do I wanna portray? Is it professional, is it quirky or relaxed? How can I best communicate my brand story and what I'm all about? This is the foundation of your personal brand and what's gonna help you decide on what outfits you wanna wear, what colors or props to incorporate, and what type of location to choose for your photo shoot. And if you need help with getting clear on all of the things I just mentioned, watch this video where Seb explains these in detail and grab the free branding workbook linked below to follow along in defining your brand identity. Once you're clear on what your personal brand is all about, it's time to choose a photographer for your branding photo shoot. As a photographer, my biggest suggestion here would be to first, figure out what style of photography you like, and second, pick a photographer that matches that style. The way you go about that is by doing research. The best place to start is Google or Instagram search using location keywords based on where you're located. For example, Dallas personal branding photographer or Dallas portrait photographer if that's where you're located. Just be sure to do your due diligence and look through their website, social media, and even reviews and testimonials. When you reach out, tell them exactly what you like about their work and what you're looking for in detail. So this is where I recommend creating a mood board and a shot list. It can be as simple as finding images on Pinterest that speak to you and creating a board that you can share with the photographer to give them a good idea of what you're looking for. Cause let's be real, the vibe of an image can be hard to describe in words. This is also where you can include your outfits and location inspo and even posing ideas, which will come in handy during the photo shoot. Trust me. A shot list is a little less fun to create, but it's worth it. An experienced photographer should help you put it together or maybe share a template if you ask. Otherwise, you can make one with Google Sheets where you lay out all the different photos you aim to get and you can make it as simple or as detailed as you like, but not to the point where you write out the exact pose, angle, and 
thought you're thinking in the moment. An important thing to note on your shot list if you create one is to know where and how you want to use your photos. Ask yourself, how many photos do I need? Where will they be used? And are there specific images you have in mind for your social media marketing campaigns, upcoming product launches, new programs, that kind of thing. For example, if you know you need a nine by 16 vertical shot specifically for an Instagram story promotion, write that down beside the image you wanna capture on your shot list. A quick note on what a professional branding session costs because this is a common question people have. Different photographers have different pricing structures and you should always make sure that you completely understand your photographer's prices before you commit to booking a photo shoot. Branding shoots for small businesses can range anywhere from $500 to $5,000 depending on the photographer you choose and the amount of content you're looking to create. The more experienced your photographer, the higher their package prices will tend to be and it should go without saying but the cheaper photographer is not always necessarily better. The key takeaway here is that you wanna think of these photos as an investment for your business. It's not something you wanna cheap out on. Imagine you're going on a first date. You wanna make an amazing first impression, right? You don't want to show up in dirty clothes or dirty hair or stinky. You get the point. You wanna set the best first impression you possibly can for your potential client. Because if you're not willing to invest in yourself, how can you expect someone else to invest in your business? And you can definitely start out with a smaller photo shoot if you're not prepared to invest a substantial amount just yet, but make sure that the photographer you choose will be able to deliver the exact content you're looking for. All right, with that out of the way, let's talk about choosing the right location for your personal brand photo shoot. There are so many types of location, both indoors and outdoors, where you can have your branding photography session. You can have it in a studio, outdoor landscapes or local landmarks, or even your home office space. All of those are great options and can work perfectly for anyone, regardless of their personal style or industry. And just as an example, here's some behind the scenes footage of me shooting at a wine bar. Nice. One more. Other way. Great. Consider what types of locations would support the look and feel you're going for. What does the location communicate to your audience about you, your business, and your message and values? For example, a life coach who works from home might want to use their home office for their personal brand photos since that is what best represents what they do and where they work. And just to show you an example, here's some final shots we got with a previous client of mine during a personal brand session at her house. My client has had all the things that make her uniquely her, such as her favorite mug, her couch pillows that match her branding, etc. So if you work from home, but your home office is not very aesthetic, a good option is renting a studio with a makeshift office set up for the day. The benefit of shooting at studios is that they usually have really nice lighting and backdrops you can use to spruce up your photos. For my agency, we did our last branding photo shoot at a local wine bar because of their boho chic decor, lots of plants that give it that tropical vibe and plenty of natural light. If you're not sure where to look and have exhausted the good old Google search, check out the Peer Space or Gigster if you're in Canada or the US. I've also heard of people renting Airbnbs, so if you're not sure where to look, Instagram's your best friend. Let's get into how to pose for your personal brand photos. Quick disclaimer though, I want you to remember to let go of that inner voice or monkey brain that you know isn't serving you. What do I mean by that? We all deal with a level of self-consciousness and if you're like me, you might be self-proclaimed perfectionist too. But try to remember that no one's perfect and imperfections can add character and charm to a photo. Airbrushing to perfection is a thing of the past, thank God, and authenticity is in my friend. So instead of focusing on trying to look flawless, focus on feeling comfortable and confident. Be in the moment and don't overthink your poses or try to force a specific look. Let your emotions and expressions come naturally. Actually, there is one little thing you can do to get better at posing. Reference the mood board you created and practice recreating the poses that speak to you in the mirror. It sounds silly, 
but it works. I'm pretty sure that's how real models do too. Plus, a great photographer will carry on a conversation to make you feel comfortable and crack jokes when they want to lighten up the mood and get that natural smile out of you. Here are some of my go-to poses you can try out. Walk back and forth, leaning on one foot to create a sense of movement. Play with your hair for a playful vibe. Sit and rest your chin on your hand ever so slightly for a thoughtful look. Power stands with arms crossed for a more dominant or power look. Look over the shoulder and crack a smile for the I'm shy but cute look. Looking off to the side or off camera for a more candid, caught in the moment look. And if you're like me and you never know what to do with your hands, hold or interact with a prop you normally use for your work. When doing standing poses, instead of standing stiffly in one position, create some movement by walking, playing with your clothing, interacting with a prop or engaging in activities that reflect your interests and things that you normally do at work, which can make your photos feel much more genuine. As a photographer turned marketer whose brand is all about building authority, teaching, social media, and content creation strategies, and who's also a digital nomad of sorts, I would want to do a mix of standing power poses with some relaxed sitting and smiling poses, as well as some poses incorporating my everyday tools of the trade, like my laptop, my iPhone, and my camera. For example, imagine you're a dog walker and you have a dog walking business. Your vibe might be the exact opposite. You might want to do your session outside in a park photograph with dogs walking, playing, and smiling at the camera. Or if you're a personal trainer, you might wanna do your branding photos at the gym that you normally train at with a mix of photos outside in your local park gym with your tools of the trade like weights, resistance bands, etc. At the end of the day, it comes down to trusting your photographer and communicating with them to get the shots that you want. So I hope you can now see how having professional photos can help you create a powerful personal brand that stands out from a crowd. The truth is a lot of people aren't doing this and it's the ones who do that seem to be the most recognizable and most successful in the industry. Put yourself in your customer's shoes. If you're looking to hire someone for a service, who would you put the most trust in? By investing in professional, high quality branding photos, you'll show your customers that you're willing to invest in their transformation too. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I do answer all of them or send me a DM on Instagram at Awake Abroad Media. So my friend, I hope you find this helpful. And if you did, I would really appreciate it if you could do me the favor of liking and clicking the subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm. See you in the next video.